Mais... Oh! Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching Season 3, Episode 7 of The Expanse. And this episode is called Delta V, Delta 5. What a couple of episodes we've had. Um, I should explain the change of location. I'm currently working away from home in Brighton. It's the weekend, so I've just got time to fit one of these in. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. This is my hotel room. So between watching episodes five and six and sitting down for this, me and my wife actually went back and rewatched all of the episodes of The Expanse from season two, episode seven, through to season three, episode six. And it was really, really great having the rewatch, not least because we did it with our Sonos speaker attached. So like all of the sound effects and music were just amped up beyond all belief. It was amazing. But I also saw a couple of things that I'd forgotten about or not really kind of thought through clearly. And the sort of key two, I don't need to talk about all of them, but two key ones. One, in season three, episode one, when they were doing the cleanup of the Rosinante, the camera scanned down below decks and there was a whole chunk of the proto molecule inside the ship. I'd completely forgotten about that. No one's mentioned it since. And obviously because I watch one episode a week, so as if it was airing, I, I don't uh, stack these up in advance. I'm just doing one a week and editing and getting it up and then the next week I do another one. So like in the sort of five or six weeks since I saw that episode, I completely forgot about it because obviously so much has happened. But now I'm thinking, ah, shit, we never actually got a resolution to that. So I'm kind of worried that there's proto molecule now growing away in the Rosinante that we actually haven't dealt with. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to that exploding all over the place. The second thing was actually noticing a correlation between Anna and Avasarala in that they've both created monsters in the way that Anna shares responsibility for Esteban's crimes because she enabled him by writing the speech which meant he could turn the people that he'd sent to death into martyrs, she created his career. She enabled him to become the Secretary General of the UN ultimately. And then on the other hand, with Avasarala and Aaron Wright, we know that Avasarala taught Aaron Wright everything he knows. She was his mentor. She drilled into him, Earth must come first. And now Aaron Wright and Esteban, although they've come to blows, only because Esteban threw Aaron Wright under the bus. It wasn't because Esteban took some principled stance against Aaron Wright's shenanigans. It's literally because now he has a got a scapegoat for all of his bullshit. So that was really, really interesting to kind of get those two things. One, I'm really glad I saw that protein molecule because now I'm sufficiently shitting myself as I think I should be at this point. And, um, and it was nice to actually think about the way that the writers created that symmetry between Anna and Avasarala, which, you know, isn't obvious. You've kind of got to watch and think about it, but I really love um, symmetry like that in writing. So. Those are the only things I'm going to talk about ahead of going into this episode. I really want to crack on and watch it. So, without further ado, let's have at it. It's fine. It's fine. What's going on? What? What? But the arrest of the traitor, Aaron Wright, and the resignation of Secretary General, Soren Togillis, whom we thank for his service, has given us the opportunity to choose a new future. We must choose peace. For we have arrived at the dawn of a new era and are witness to an event unlike anything else in the history of our species. What the fuck? The peace, Earth, Mars, and the belt. We will face the unknown together. The ring. What the fuck's happened? So Esteban's... Pauls will come to you, the 
crikey. I did not fucking expect that. So, Ellen Wright's been arrested as a, tra as a traitor, we knew that, but Esther Ballas resigned? How? And Vassarella's clearly back on earth. Oh my God. Does this mean I'm actually gonna get my way and we're gonna have Secretary General of Vassarella? That would be nice. That would be nice. And what's this ring all about? Is that what the proto molecule thing from Venus created? There's now a ring in space. It's noisy here. Okay, play. <laughs>just remembered something else. I was actually watching New Complex. I was watching her reactions and I'm only up to like I think season one episode eight I just started earlier on. I haven't yet finished it. I'm really enjoying them by the way and I noticed um the scene that I'd another scene I'd forgotten about which was that Naomi when they made the deal to cooperate with Fred Johnson way way back Naomi said to Fred Johnson something like and I need you to find somebody for me, no questions asked. So I'm wondering when we're going to find out that Fred has actually found that person, which I'm now assuming is Philip, or maybe this guy is the father of Philip. Yeah. Goodness only knows. But yeah, she just reminded me. Play. <laughs> Rita, when I get back to Sirius, you're going to be banging a superstar. Well, I hope you do better than Busy Biko. Wait. The UN has announced that a blue ribbon panel of civilian religious leaders, intellectuals and artists is being assembled to observe This feels like another show. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, oh dear. In a joint statement issued today, Anderson Dawes and Fred Johnson ring. announced that the OPA would be the joining the Earth and Mars mission to all the ring. All time, all thing about the freaking ring. It's quite important, Espinosa. Um, you like this? Uh oh. I'm your brother. Do you understand me? Uh oh. The real me. Right here. <gasps> Stay safe for sewing out this star. <laughs> Brutal. Mia. Oh, mate. That's Benoza. Oh, urine. Oh no. It's an alarm. I do this for you. What's he fucking doing? Is he going to into the ring? Oh, you absolute fucking weapon. Oh, it's not going to be good. Oh, and I can't watch the title sequence, can I? I'm going to listen to the music, but I'm not, I'm not going to look at the screen. Oh. 187 days since formation, okay. A lot of time has passed. So what's that basically like six months? Six months. A lot of people think you're special. Could we try that again? So a lot of people think you're special. So tell me, why after everything you've been through and somehow managed to make it out alive, here you are again on the edge of the unknown? Why push your luck? Because you're paying us. 
the ring. How does that make you feel? Kind of makes me want a donut. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's plenty of people way smarter than me out here trying to figure it out. We're just trying to make a living. So what about you? You're just here for the money, too? I'm going to be on the ship one way or the other. At least this one's part of mine. What happened to Naomi Nagata? Oh. She's on a leave of absence. Oh, then Naveen's the bear moth now. Hey, Naomi. Looking good, Satara. On Tycho, that would get you six months in jail. Maybe the part of Tycho you get to be in. Come now, Belta. No, you'd be like those high and mighty inners you used to crew with. The shuttle just dock. Where you be? We do all the hard work. Now Dawes has to make it look like it's his. That's what you get when you dance with the devil. We've both done that before. You know, I've got your back. Damn, or better, I'm your captain. No one's going to change that. Who the fuck is this? Oh my god, I got back here. Cassius was right. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Good night, and good luck. Commander Klaus Sarsford requesting permission to come aboard. Ah, Kamina. Long time since the docks on Ceres. You have done well for yourself. You too. Of course, that always was your main concern. <laughs> you remember Mr. Harari? Hello, Diego. You little shit. <laughs> I talked to Cortazar. He said to say hello. Shut your face, Mr. Shut up, Diego. That is Naomi Nagata whose service to the belt was far greater than yours could ever be. And that is your commanding officer. Wow. They got organized. You and then Thomas Prince. Oh, looks like the Agatha King. Anna! 187 days, 16 hours, 53 minutes. And in that time, we've detected no radiation, no signals, no emissions of any kind. Do you think it might have been alive in some way? A life form? Yeah. Aren't you part of the godly contingent? No, I came here on a spaceship, not the wings of an angel. I'm able to appreciate the difference. <laughs> an intelligence created it. An extremely intelligent intelligence. What do you think it is? Pray that it's inert. There's no way it's inert. Yeah, I actually couldn't find any records of you on the roll. In fact, you don't seem to have any official government records at all, apart from a birth certificate and a registered win with the apprenticeship lottery when you were 15. Talked to some locals, though, and they told me about a guy who was also named Amos Burton, who was some sort of mob boss. But that couldn't be you, right? Because you left the city when you were 15. So maybe it was like a relative. Wow. Not so close. What is it going to take for you to get comfortable with me? You being off the ship? Oh. I bet you're one of those tough guys who gets really sentimental and chatty after sex. Dracaris. I don't shit where I eat. Wow. It is the greatest vessel in human history and built by Beltalada. That is something the Inners cannot ignore because they know if we can do this, then that is just the beginning. Wow. Pools, I just wanted to take a second. I'm actually struggling a bit with Naomi now having a Belter accent. I, I just... 
I don't like it when characters change their accents. So I'm hoping it's a bit like in EastEnders, then a character who had to put an American accent, and then he just gave up after about six weeks and gave her a British accent. I could just like Naomi to go back to speaking how Naomi speaks. That was really interesting with Amos. I'm wondering, I can't imagine he was a mob boss. Maybe he were. I mean, it would make sense he was a mob boss, but I'm wondering if maybe Amos Burton isn't his actual name. But then I suppose... I wasn't quite clear on what she said about when his records began and ended. So we've got the birth certificate, we've got him winning the that lottery at 15. It makes me wonder what he did to get that ticket. And then, I mean, that's a big gap between 15 and whenever he met Naomi. I really, really want to get their backstory at some point to understand where was Amos when Naomi came into his life? Because she clearly had a major impact on him. And I'd really like to, if we don't literally see it, I'd, I'd like to get it in exposition because I, I find that it's a really big piece of their joint history. Play. Oh, the behemoth. Wow. Paintings up. Hey, good guy. Oh. I am sorry. Now there, that's what you wanted to hear, right? Yes. Then we're good. Okay, we're good. What's all this about? Oh, we used to work together. You believe you should be in command? Well, of course I do, but this is not about experience. It's about politics and perception. Fred has protomolecule, oh. Dawes has cortisol, and they both need this shit. They both have delusions of grandeur. And neither one of them cares if you or I are happy with the arrangement. Ah, uh, finally, some truth. I haven't lied to you. Yet. Sir, our construction skiff malfunction. It's stuck in a hard spin. Pilot's not responding. What? Is he gonna hit the hull? Not if I can help it. Shit. Shit! Get in the drive now. I'll bring it back to the dock. Oh, Christ. Is that, that's that guy who took the drugs? Sure, Naomi looks fierce in that outfit. I approve. I have to admit, I kind of miss that old red sky. I've been back to Mars since I was shipped out for Phoebe way back when. I'm not gonna lie. Yay. I'm kind of jealous. Calissa filed for divorce. Oh, how do you feel about that? Honestly, kind of relieved. Does that make me an asshole? Nah. It's better to know what you want and who you are. You know, my fellow soldiers might dispute how you took ownership of your ship, but you earned that seat you're in. You're a top-notch pilot. You can fly me anytime. Gotta go. Well, it was good talking to you, Gunny. Thank you. I want our team back together. I saw the skiff pilot with a dealer earlier. I should have told you about it. Why? Did you believe the pilot was a risk? I didn't think so. His work had been fine up until now. Or anyone. That skiff driver was free to put whatever he liked into his body. We all are. Until that freedom puts others at risk. And then we act accordingly. Good leader, Kamina. She didn't, like, roast her out. It's nice to see that Madame Abbasarala is as good. That's her word. Donations have been rolling into the clinic. It's never been in better shape. And I have never felt worse. First, it was a few weeks away to write a speech at the UN. Now it's months oh. on the edge of the solar system. I miss you. Your daughter misses you. And we love you very much. Come home soon. Please. Pools. She's going to end up like bloody Alex and his wife, aren't they, those two? It's like, now Anna's got all caught up in this mission. Play. 
Hey, new girl. Like what you see? Wouldn't rub up against that narcissistic asshole with your junk. Who are they? Sammy, Ren, and what, Melba? Listen, the first contract's always the toughest. Stick with us, we'll get you through it. What's her deal? I feel like I've been introduced to 10,000 new characters and 10,000 new locations. Like this. I call him Prax Panels. Where's Prax? It's Prax. He's a botanist. He helped us and we helped him find his little girl. Where are they now? They're both on Ganymede Station. Prax is helping him rebuild it. You miss him? He was good company. He was my best friend in the whole world. Why didn't you go with him? He didn't ask. He didn't have to. I'm not really the rebuilding type. In these uncertain times, it's more important than ever that we learn to love each other. I heard you oh. shut down Monica. Does that mean I have a chance? It, ex excuse like me? Like I told her, I don't shit where I eat. Well, you live on a spaceship. And I don't shit in the galley. They are determined to shag Amos. What is she doing? Power goes dirty, sends a fall, so the next one goes to standby, then the one after that. Pretty soon you got a whole ship powered down, then we gotta go over here. We set everything by hand. What has she done? It's Wait. okay. You're gonna... Pause. No, sorry, Mr. Mr. Wren. Is she like a terrorist or doing something to break this whatever the hell she's doing because she's nervous as hell she wanted to be done with that panel over there before Ren came back and then when he looked back at it she got really really nervous I think she was worried that he was going to open it and find whatever it is she's done so what did she do who is she this is insane. I, I play. I'm just fine. I promise. That dude is drunk. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Is this a drug policy? They're getting spaced. Clear out. Give the captain a little goddamn space. Better order. Go cross this line. Move. Stay there. You What's stay this? there. Official business. You don't have to. How many have you space for reasons just like this? Yeah, more than I'd like to admit, but we're not pirates or rock hoppers anymore. We're citizens of the belt. Oh, come on. And we have to start acting like members of a society that obeys the rule of law, not like the animals that the inners have always portrayed us to be. I don't like him either, but in this, he's not wrong. <laughs> If anyone has any contraband in their possession, they have until then to put it in here with no repercussion. After that, anyone caught dealing will be thrown in the brig, court-martialed, and sent back to Ceres for incarceration on a prison barge. Those are our captain's orders. I'm having my morality tested. I know, I know it's right, but I still kind of want Kamina to space people who piss her off. I think I really want you to hear this. I think maybe I was wrong about you. It's going to be waiting for you when you get back. Pathetic. I think this is our time. Time for the belt to stand up. If not now, it may be never. Well, perhaps you should explain that to Drummer. She needs to hear it from someone she trusts. Mm -hmm. 
como vocês deu. Here we go. What did she do? Why did you have to look? <gasps> oh no. What in God's name have you been doing? I have to do this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I think what you are are liars. All of you. Wow. I don't think anyone on the ship is being honest about why you're here. Pools. This is such a gear change, this episode. It's actually quite hard for me to adapt to things because you get really, I don't know about you guys, I get really like wedded to like a char characters in the setup. And I absolutely loved like Prax and Vassarala and Bobby and everyone all with the core group on the Resonante, and now everyone's like broken up, people are talking different, the rules are changing, time's passed, the camera crew's trying to shag Amos. <laughs> I'll catch up, but if, if, if I look like I'm struggling, it's because I am. Because obviously now we've ex again expanded our number of locations again, and we're rapidly expanding our characters again. And that's going to be quite an interesting challenge, I think, to to get a hold of this new one. And it's it's strange because when things change, you realise, oh, it's actually going to take me a few episodes to kind of almost catch up emotionally with where everyone else is. Because they've clearly had like six months to move into their new lives. And I've had about half an hour, 40 minutes. So, yes, yeah, bizarre, but I like it. I do like it. It, all, it actually feels like they've decided because it was ending that they were going to spend all their budget as well because it, i don't know about you what you guys think but it feels like really slick i think this is going to be good play what you want i think you're trying to get a rise out of me and i think i'm going to grab a shower and some sleep nice try lady but no cigar see up to This is the MCRN Hammurabi to an identified vessel approaching right. the ring. You have Let's entered restricted space. I'm ready! Let's do this! Too late, Dustin! Today, I make history. Me! Maneo! You! Let's go! Calm down. 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh god, I'm gonna have to work so hard not to tell my wife about this. So hard. Because I can't catch up the next episode with her until I'm back home after this week away. Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna have to watch the next episode. I don't think I can do it now, but I am gonna watch the next episode. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't even think I can do a review. I'm completely beside myself. It was literally last night we finished, we watched five and six last night, me and my wife, before I went away. And she was just spellbound at the end. And we literally sat there for about five minutes afterwards, just going, but what does the protocol molecule want? What is the work? What is it here to do? Who is still in there? Where are the consciousnesses? And we went through the characters and we were like, you know, we think there could be a really good chance Miller or Jimmy Mouse consciousness is, is still in there. And then we were debating about whether um, Janus and Iturbi would do the same because we couldn't quite work out if they'd have died before the proto molecule would have had a chance to kind of fully get into their systems and for them to sort of be uploaded into the hive mind or however that process works. But I have, you knew I have been waiting in hope that at some point we would see Miller again and whether that is a vision or not I'm not even joking I'm just happy I'll take it I'll take it for now I'm just happy to have seen him oh oh I know I've got to talk about everything else but that was amazing So Espinoza, <laughs> Espino more. <laughs> he seems to have activated the ring, which has now turned into like a petri dish in space. It really reminded me of science lessons when you'd have the the gel and you'd like grow shit in it, like different bacteria and stuff. That's what it looked like to me. I'm interested to find out what the fuck is going on there. And basically everything is everything that came together through season two and the first half of season th three has now come apart so Avasarala is apparently in charge of the UN or you know she's kind of caretaker while new elections happen and stuff like that Erin Wright is in jail Esteban has resigned there is like a coalition of religious leaders and scientists and civil civil leaders and I guess engineers and all sorts that are on the UNN whatever the fuck that look like the Agatha King they have spent all this time trying to figure out what the hell this ring is and it's been inert it's not been doing anything they're even starting to question, you know, Anna was like, is it alive? Is it still organic? Those kinds of things. And they just haven't got a clue. Well, I think they're, they're going to get a clue because I think him, um, Espinosa, riding into it, set it off. Which means hopefully soon we'll know what the hell's going on with it. And again, there's the debate with the proto molecule. Like, is the proto molecule something of itself? Or is there a greater intelligence that has designed the proto molecule, which means we haven't even yet met the, the kind of the species behind the proto molecule, which would make sense to give us somewhere to go in the story as well, because oh, wait, wait, what if it's a wormhole? What if, what if? What if it can like open and then the and then the thing that you know what I mean will get some creatures some set of beings come whizzing through the ring that would be cool that would be really cool oh man that was great I really really enjoyed that um we've also got the Navu which has now become the behemoth they were called the I call it the behemoth I, don't, I can't remember what they called it. They pronounced it slightly differently to me, and now I've overthought it, so I can't remember what I call it and what they call it. But what was the Nauvoo? 
the OPA are now kind of struggling with becoming organized and having to change their behavior they're getting used to being in uniform but it looked great it looked really organized and obviously they've got some teething problems but it was like a world away from the way that we've seen them operate in the past that was really great and to kind of see that civilization born properly so they're coming along Kamina's captain we didn't see Fred Johnson this episode but him and Anderson Dawes are now like head honchos of the OPA and the OPA is at the table with the team that's looking at the ring so the OPA now is respected as a force in the solar system as distinct from Earth and Mars that is a fantastic leap forward from where they've been in the past and a fantastic leap forward in terms of relations actually really fantastic I enjoyed that a lot I think probably the area that had the least going on was the Rosinante Bobby is no longer on the Rosinante either Bobby has been admitted back into the Martian Navy we did at least get to see her having a chat with Alex but I'm not happy I want everyone back together somehow His wife is divorcing him and he said he was relieved and i think that's fair i think you know it's clear that their marriage was not going anywhere at this point and i think for him it was to sort of really just be free of that and to embrace the fact that he's not going home this is what he does and just to kind of be at peace with the thing that he really wants and to let go of the conflict within himself of the man he thinks he should be and the man he actually is We've got this documentary crew filming the Rosinante crew, which they've, I guess, given permission because the crew said, because the documentary crew said that they pay all their legal fees because they're trying to hold on to the Rosinante rather than give it back to Mars, which I think is fair. They save the planet, let them have the ship. Mars has got a fuck ton of ships. They could probably build another Tachi tomorrow. So I think that I don't think they're going to be taking the ship away. If they do, I'm going to be really upset. Um, yeah Amos was getting grilled out about his past I paused and spoke about that so I won't, I won't go over that again and Holden just seemed sort of a bit lost this episode the racy guys that remain there just seem to kind of be going through the motions at the moment which I find incredibly realistic because setting back into anything resembling normalcy after you've been in an extreme particularly in war particularly in a conflict zone is incredibly hard to do i've been for it myself and it is beyond an adjustment because you have been operating at life and death for a stretch and so you're you know you're completely present you're not thinking about tomorrow you're not thinking about the past you're not thinking about oh my schedule's packed all of the normal kind of things that you worry about in everyday life are just completely gone when you're in that level um, of adrenaline mood and obviously they've now got to come back down to earth and you know start thinking about things like bills and you know how they get you know all of these sort of normal mundane things which just seem incredibly boring after all of that but is actually life too so i think it's going to take them a little while to adjust but i'm pretty sure you know by the end of this season everything will be amped up again and we can you know get our valiant crew back together for one more adventure but yeah i i kind of it's weird i actually love what they did with this episode but it was just a real it was a real wrench to kind of pull myself out of um the last kind of stretch we've had of everyone together in the race in ante to kind of getting used to to the world being slower so I think they did that quite well it was almost like i went through as a viewer what the cast the, the cast of characters were going through on the show which was adjusting to a different pace and to a little bit of peace and also to all of these new people you know we've had quite a confined set a confined set of characters and literally unlike physically a confined space too and now everything is expanding again so 
yeah i really really liked it i'm looking forward to the next episode until the next time bye bye mm -hmm.